With Easter quickly approaching, did you know that it was not God's intent to have Jesus crucified? There is a children's book called God's Very Good Idea, and in it, it talks about how God intended the world to be. His very good idea, creating all the people, all unique and different, but all still made in God's image. But since he didn't want for us to be mindless robots simply programmed to love him, he gave each of us free will, the will to choose. Since the first created humans, Adam and Eve, made the choice to go against God's will for their lives, they ushered sin into this world, and things have only continued to get worse. The book then explains in this way. But God was not surprised by people ruining things. He had always had a very good plan to rescue his very good idea. So God got to work. He came to earth as a person, Jesus. Jesus loved people who were different than him. He loved people who no one else loved. He always enjoyed loving all the different people he met. Jesus shows us how to enjoy loving each other. But people didn't love Jesus. Instead, they hated him. They put him on a cross to die, but this was part of God's plan. On the cross, Jesus took our sins so that we can be forgiven. Jesus forgives his people for their sins. Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose back to life and then went back to live in heaven. And then he gave people his spirit to help them enjoy loving him and loving all the different people they know. Jesus helps us to love each other. One day, God will finish his very good idea. Jesus will come back and make the world perfect again. And everyone who has asked Jesus to forgive them will live there with their different languages and skin colors. They will enjoy loving God and loving each other. They will enjoy praising God for making, rescuing, and finishing his very good idea. God knew that as humans, we would choose our own way rather than God's way, but he was ready for it. God always has a plan.